Welcome to another fly tying episode sponsored by Lid Rig. This is Chris Edlin with Catching Colorado. And we are going to be tying up one of my favorite patterns uh, called a chubby Chernobyl. So what I'm doing now is just adding some purple thread to the hook. This is a 140 purple thread. So getting kind of the hook covered. You don't have to worry about the perfect taper on this because you're gonna have dubbing up and down the hook. So you don't have to worry too much. So I'm gonna take that thread right to the beginning of the bend and just make sure I get it nice and coated. And then I'm gonna stop right there at the back of the hook. The hook that I'm using today is a Tiemco TMC 5262. You can do them in size eight or size six. I have both in my box. This in particular is a size eight. Right, and then the next thing that we're going to tie in is some crystal flash, some pearl crystal flash. So I'm gonna grab 10 or so strands of pearl crystal flash, and I'm going to mate those with the back of the hook. Nice loose wrap, just to get them kind of set up there on top, and then pull them towards the back of the fly while holding them on the back of the hook and roll to that bend. And then I'm just gonna trim them off about a half a hook length or so past the curve. And then with these in front, just kind of collect them with my fingers and then give them a little snip close. And then just gonna roll forward to kind of capture any of those extra loose strands. And then I'm gonna go right back to the back of the hook and stop in the same position. And then I'm going to take some ice dub, some UV purple ice dub, and I'm going to build a nice thin noodle to my fly here, spinning just one direction with your fingers don't spin backwards with ice dub or it's gonna come apart on you. So I'm just gonna build a little bulbous back here. Nothing crazy. That should be pretty good right there. A couple little wraps just to secure any looseness right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of foam. This is black foam and it is two mil, and I'm just going to trim off the corners for a little butt section. And what I will do is kind of measure it so that that butt section just barely sticks beyond the butt of the fly. Uh, another YouTuber taught me this trick where you actually do a nice tight wrap on the foam right where you want it and then unwrap it, and then you'll have a little mark on your foam that shows you where you need it tied in. And then you can take a little tiny dab of super glue on the top of the hook there, does not take much. Grab your foam, put it right back in that same spot. And then when you go to wrap it, you will have an indicator of exactly where you want it. I'm just going to get tighter on those wraps as I go and kind of square it up. And then next thing we want to tie in is the wings. So the wings I'm using uh, McFlylon. It is kind of like a yarn. It's a polymer. So I'm cutting some McFlylon off of the zip tie. And then I am going to put the butt of the McFly line just about in line with that flash. And I'm going to come up and wrap down. 
And then I'm going to cut these off about the same length, maybe a little bit longer than the back part. And then another thing you can do is you can kind of spread this apart just to kind of give it a little bit more definition. And as you wrap back, you just kind of wrap in between the yarn and you're gonna kind of push all of those wings back so that you have a nice fluffy appearance there. You can also comb these out with some Velcro, whatever you wanna do. So that's your wings. Now we're gonna tie in our legs. So just again, two wraps, and then you can kind of position these legs right on the side of the fly. These are a round purple size medium leg. So I've got one side in, there's the other side. Just kind of get them right about where I want them. One more securing wrap, and I feel pretty good about that. All right, so now that we have the wing and the legs on, we're gonna go back to the purple ice dub. Again, doing a thin noodle best we can. Just kind of roll it on here, make it thin, thin, thin as possible. And this one we're gonna make a little longer because this is also gonna be the body of the fly. So not only are we gonna kind of go over the wing casing here, do just a couple wraps here. Then we're gonna kind of fold this back. And we're gonna tightly wrap the body here. I need just a little bit more dubbing on there. Not a ton. A little bit more. Might have to take some off, but just wanna get it kinda of three quarters up the fly, something like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of secure that very end there with some purple thread. And then we are back to a little bit of that super glue. Again, don't wanna go crazy with this because it'll get kind of messy. Stick to your fingers and stuff, but three quarters up the shank of the hook. And then we're gonna do one tight wrap and then we're gonna start securing it even tighter each successive wrap. And that's about where we want that. And then we are back to the McFly lawn. And then I'm gonna just line these up with the back of the fly here. Let me move this down just a hair for you. So these are gonna kind of match up with the length there. And then I'm just gonna lay them down. Do one securing wrap, two securing wraps. And then kind of flip those back. And then I'm sort of gonna taper it. So I kind of want these to be a little longer and then it gets shorter and shorter from there. And that just helps when you're separating the yarn to not get super tangled up in there. So I usually just kind of split both strands in half and then get a couple good wraps in there. All right, so that's what our wings look like. Now again, we need two more legs. So we're gonna use those medium round rubbers. Do one more wrap on those. All right, and then when you get your legs kind of laid out exactly how you want them, you got the wings laid out how you want them, we're gonna finish off with a little more ice dub. And this, uh, this one's not gonna be super, super long either. Again, we're going for like thin noodle. Um, but it's not going to be super long noodle because with this one we are going to finish at the head of the fly. I want to give it a little bit of a head, but we also want to have a good tie point for our whip finish. So I'm going to hold those wings back, do a couple wraps over the top, and then I'll get a couple sneaky wraps in right here behind the eye. And then we are ready to whip finish this fly. I like to do two whip finishes. I think it just guarantees that you don't have too many problems. And the super glue on this is gonna make it really durable. Um, but in general, I think a whip finish is the way to kind of finish all of your flies. Make sure you got a whip finish on there. You can do a little head cement if you really wanted to. 
All right, so now this fly is tied. And then what I'll usually do is if I have any stragglers, I'll just kind of peel those off, little wing stragglers. And then you want to cut the head maybe, I don't know, I would say like two eye lengths in front of the eye of the hook. And then kind of cut very, very minor 45 degrees just to get those points off there. And then I usually come back and make the head a little bit more dull and flat by cutting the front. And that right there is your finished chubby Chernobyl. Great little fly, fantastic pattern for dry droppers, and uh, just one that absolutely produces here on the South Platte. So that is the chubby Chernobyl, and this video has been sponsored by Lidrick. Happy fishing! Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.